Hello dear friends, this is Dr. Muhammad Aminul Islam. Welcome to my channel. In my previous videos, I explained how to carry out continuous mode adsorption experiment and column adsorption experiment. These videos have been very popular. Therefore, in this video, I will explain how to carry out batch adsorption experiment. This video is very important, so please do not skip. Well, a batch adsorption experiment or immersion experiment is one of the most common tests used to measure adsorption equilibrium and kinetics from solution. It consists of addition of a known mass of sample to a fixed volume of a liquid at an initial concentration. However, the liquid suspension is mixed either using a stirrer or the entire cell is agitated to mix the liquid phase. The liquid is sampled or is circulated to a detector and the evolution of the liquid concentration in time is more monitored up to equilibrium. Well, Batch adsorption experiments are usually carried out by the addition of a known amount of adsorbent to a equilibrium sol liquid solution at a known initial concentration and following the evolution in the time of the concentration of the adsorbent. Now I will explain the apparatus for batch adsorption. Batch adsorption is very simple and you do not need too much apparatus. For example, you need only this uh, glass uh, reaction vessels and uh, you also need a rotary shaker of any type and you also need uh, some volumetric flask to prepare a standard solution and very simple uh, experiments. Then I will explain best adsorption studies. What are the considerations for understanding the adsorption process? We usually consider effect of contact time or which is known as adsorption kinetic experiments. Then effect of solution pH or adsorption age experiment, initial effect of initial contaminant concentration or popularly known as adsorption isotherm experiments, then effect of mass or adsorbent juice, then effect of temperature in this case we can consider isotherm experiments at various temperatures for example 25, 30, 35, 45 and 50 degrees Celsius. Then comes competitive adsorption study which is usually done in uh, adsorption of one species in, uh, in presence of another species. Then comes adsorption with real wastewater. In most studies, uh, simulated water is used, but nowadays, real waste water is also used for adsorption study. Then comes regeneration or reusability of the spent adsorbent. This is one of the most important study for understanding the reusability capability of the adsorbent. And in my next video, I will explain how to carry out each of the experiments in details. And this is the reference from where most of the informations have been collected. And finally, thanks for watching. Please do visit Aminul Camp Innovation. Like, comment, share. And don't forget to subscribe.